Up for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2010 GMC Yukon short wheel base. Short wheel base just means that it's not DXL, it's a short one. Denali, silver on the outside with black leather interior. Completely loaded up with factory navigation, color rear camera, factory DVD player, factory power moonroof, heated seats, cold seats, memory seats, 20 inch chrome wheels with uh, almost brand new Michelin tires, um, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, VehicleMax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142. Is there a zip code? We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. The car has no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. Has also the blind side zone alert, which is a new option that General Motors came out with, which is really, really good. On the side mirrors, there's a little indicator there that lets you know when there's somebody in your blind spot, which uh, I mean, you should always still look over your shoulder, but sometimes uh, after you look, somebody comes into your lane and that thing lights up immediately, which comes in really handy. Um, keeps you, uh, it helps you avoid an accident. Again, Michelin tires that are nearly brand new. They're probably about, maybe got only a couple thousand miles on them. All right, one of the many options in this vehicle is a remote start. Car has to be locked. And this option, what it does is you can, um, uh, you can start the car from a distance, and, uh, which comes in real handy, especially in the summer like now that it's uh, very warm outside. As long as you had the air conditioning on, when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, as long as the AC was on, um, the car will come on and the, the AC will cool down the car for you. Also in the winter when it's cold outside, as long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so with the heater, and when it reaches temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. You gotta have the car locked, you press this little circle here and hold it, the turn signals will flash, and the car will come on. Oops, let me make sure it's locked. There it goes. When you're ready to drive off, all you gotta do is unlock the vehicle with the remote, open the door, stick the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and wanna turn off the car, you don't have to go up to the car. You can just do it right from here by pressing the little circle again. The power tailgate is also something else I can show you from here. Right from the remote, you can open your power tailgate. Press and hold here. You can open the power tailgate from the remote, from the inside of the car on the overhead console, and from the handle and the tailgate. From the handle and the tailgate, the car has to be unlocked. Otherwise, anybody can get into the car and open your tailgate for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get inside of the car and get it started, show you all the interior options. Door panels are all charcoal black. We do have the wood trim, okay. We also have, uh, as I was saying before, uh, heated seats. This button is to heat the entire seat. This is for the backrest only, and we got cool seats, which means it blows cool air in your backside. We got, of course, power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel. We got also power folding mirrors. Memory seats for up to two drivers with the easy in and out button. Dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Got curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape. The outer skirts are solid, the inner skirts are perforated, and that's for your heated seats and cooled seats option. And I'll pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts or tears or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker. 
automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come off at sunrise. Also, we got a power tilt and trim. I'll show you how that works. Okay. Let me get inside of the car now. We'll get it started. Show you all the goodies in here. And this baby does have a bunch of equipment. Okay. Alright, let's get the AC going. Today it's nice and hot. We'll put it. By the way, as you can see, we have dual climate control. I got the driver's side at maximum low, which is 60. And the passenger side at 74. Which means that on this side of the vehicle, it will blow at 60. On that side of the vehicle, at 74. I'm going to go ahead and lower them both down to 60 because it's nice and hot today. In reality, we got triple climate control because the rear row passengers can control their own temperature. Okay, uh, there's our navigation screen. Okay. And um, when we put the car in reverse, you got the rear camera. And I'm actually going to back up to this vehicle back there and show you how the backup camera works and also the uh, parking sensors. Here's a color rear camera, as you can see. When we get close enough to those vehicles back there, you're going to get a first set of warning for the parking sensors pretty soon. Uh, there's our first set of warnings. Okay. The second set, you see how the beeping gets louder and quicker. Okay, and that shows you how accurate it is. Those are the parking sensors that were just activated. Put the car back in drive. And uh, the camera will stay on for about 10 seconds or so. Eventually, we'll turn back probably to whatever you had on before the navigation or the DVD. Right now, we do have it on navigation. And let's go ahead and put the car and bike in park. All right. Press audio here. And we can see what options we have here. Right now, we're playing a DVD on the uh, roof mount, the DVD in the back. Full screen. You can only do this when the car is in park. Okay. Let's go to the back now so I can show you the roof mounted DVD playing. And as you can see it's playing the exact same movie up here as it is in the uh, navigation screen. Okay, this is a factory Panasonic roof mounted unit. Alright, let me, let me get back on the car and continue. We're going to go ahead and just leave the movie playing there. Um, all right, uh, okay, let's do the moonroof so we can get a little bit of lighting in for the video. Uh, this moonroof is a glass moonroof. Moon it is tinted, but as you can see, it has a hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. It's a one-touch moonroof, meaning you press, hold for a second, let it go, and the moonroof will open. You don't have to hold the switch. It also tilts. Um, as I was saying to you before, we can uh, open the tailgate right from here and then from the switch in the roof mounted uh, console there. Home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three gates or garage doors. OnStar system and in just a few minutes I'll talk to you about the OnStar system. This is an auto dimming rear view mirror. It has a little eye there that senses bright light. When somebody puts their high beams on you, it um, darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. The windows, the front windows are both one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. Turn signals in the mirrors. And I can simulate the, the um, side zone alert there, but I can show you what it looks like there. See that little car there? And the car in the corner? But when there's somebody in your blind spot, that turns on a bright yellow, which is very easy to see. <coughs> Put the window back up for a minute. <coughs> okay. Power adjustable pedals. This feature allows the pedals to move uh, toward you and away from you about four or five inches, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. This is to disable your parking sensors. And you say, well, why would you want to do that? Well, if you're towing a boat or a trailer, when you put the car in reverse, because of the proximity of the boat or trailer, it will be beeping the whole time. So when you're backing up the boat or the trailer, you want to disable it temporarily so it doesn't drive you crazy with a beeping there. Uh, once you put the car back in drive, it actually will enable itself. Uh, this is to disable your parking sensors. 
cigarette lighter adapters, two of them on the side there. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to some music. This vehicle does have the XM capability and right now it's on preview mode as you can see. You have to uh, call that number or go to that website to sign up for your uh, subscription. We do have the FM though. And uh, we also have remote controls here on the steering wheel. This is to raise your volume, lower your volume. You can mute it here and you use these same buttons here for your uh, Bluetooth. These up here are to navigate about your preset stations and these are the ones that are preset down here. Let me lower the fan a little bit, it's getting cold in here. Um, uh, so when you tap on this, you'll move in this direction or that direction by your preset stations, which of course you can change. This here is your seek button, which will go to the next available station. The source button moves you from field to field, these fields here, AM to FM to XM to DVD to auxiliary. And this is our auxiliary iPod port, so you can play your uh, iPod music right in your Bose stereo sound system. Um, as I was saying to you before, okay, here are heated and cool seats. This is to heat the entire seat, and you'll notice up here the level of, uh, of, the, uh, of, um, of comfort. You get high, medium, and low. Hi there, medium, low, and off. And this is the same thing except it's only for the backrest. And this is for the cool seats. See it has blue up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in medium and leave it on because it, it feels nice and nice and cool and it's a very warm day today. Okay, let's put the window down again. Uh, I want to show you, we'll put both windows down. I want to show you the power folding mirrors which I didn't do before. And it's a really cool feature if you're going into a tight spot or uh, say a car wash or something. All right, uh, what else can I show you? Okay, not only are the, uh, the, uh, the heat, sorry, not only are the seats heated, but also the steering wheel as well. That's your heated steering wheel right there. Cruise control is on this side. The steering wheel is leather wrapped and it has wood trimming and I want to pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's not damaged anywhere, it's not cracked or scuffed, it's not uh, no stitching coming apart, it's not peeling. There's no burn holes anywhere on the seats, door panels, headliner. And there's no odor of smoke, so looks like the previous owner was a non smoker. Okay, um, uh, what else can I tell you? Okay, the car is running right now. Keep an eye on the left hand dial. I'm going to rev the engine. 6.2 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that's on right there is the seatbelt light because I'm not worried my seatbelt to shoot a video. 62,461 miles. Uh, to the right of the odometer you can see that there's a compass that lets us know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction and there's 84 degrees outside. Uh, okay, let's talk about the OnStar system for just a minute. If you happen to get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. If you have any kind of emergency, you can press that red button right there. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with emergency, any emergency you might have. You can also press the blue on-star button if you're lost and they'll give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. For more details, visit OnStar.com. There is a charge for the service and they'll explain it to you. Okay, on the, on the shifter here, at the end of the shifter we have the towing haul mode. I'll show you how that works when I press this here. A little yellow wagon comes on and what that does is that makes the transmission shift a little differently to adjust for the, for the extra cargo load and disables the overdrive, which is your last um, shift, the six speed. To press here to turn it off. <clears throat> On the shifter, there's also plus and minus. You can see there, and I'll show you what that looks like. 
right now we're in park I'm gonna put in reverse neutral drive and that's how you're gonna drive it 99% of the time but if you want to put a little action into it go ahead and put it on manual mode you see the one comes next to it that means we're in first gear you tap on the plus to shift up and it goes all the way up to six and you tap on the minus to shift down clearly right now we're not doing anything because we're not moving but I just want to show you how that works if that doesn't interest you just push the lever up one notch and what that does is uh, it makes the transmission shift on its own uh, you don't have to do anything of course but that's how you're going to drive it most of the time anyway um, this is your ashtray here which actually they removed it because they didn't use it I guess uh, this pops open into a cup holder in the center console here, console here where you rest your elbow is also wood trimming this is like a little tray here where you can put like pens or your cell phone while you're driving uh, there's storage in here clearly if you're gonna reach into the storage you want to move the stuff or else it's gonna fall back and here is your uh, owner's manual with uh, all the supplemental booklets that you need and its casing and uh, up here we got a cigarette lighter adapter and a USB port <coughs> Let's pan over the passenger seating area there so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, stairs, or burn holes. No color missing, no stains, nothing like that. Uh, what else can I show you up here? We got map lights, we got vanity mirrors with lighting. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I think we're ready to move on to the back. I think I've covered the front just about as far as I can go. If I miss anything, feel free to call me. Uh, my name is George at 305 218 5462. And I can go over anything that uh, I may have missed or that you have any special questions about. Okay, um, not only do we have uh, uh, heated seats up in the front, but the middle row buckets, as you can see right there, are also heated. Here, the middle row passengers can control the uh, fan speed, the airflow, and the temperature. Uh, so that's why I was saying earlier we got triple climate control. They can also control the stereo down here there's jacks for headphones there's also video input which means if you can power it through the cigarette lighter adapter you can watch it up here this pops out into a cup holder okay the factory floor mats okay um, these middle row buckets uh, the little ones can just walk in between to reach the full bench in the rear this is a seven passenger two in the front two in the middle that makes four plus a full bench for three in the back and that makes a total of seven so as I was saying before the little ones can walk in between uh, the adult passengers there's a switch here that makes these seats tumble forward and I'll demonstrate now and that's so you can gain uh, easy access to the rear um, okay so uh, so this is how you get into the back for the adults and um, uh, over the back in the back you have uh, over the shoulder seat belts for all the passengers including the uh, middle row passengers passenger which uses that one right there there are AC vents back here for the rear row passengers there's two on each side as well as a um, map lights up in the roof here okay and the middle row passengers have the same they have AC vents up here and there is also um, map lights up and uh, integrated into the uh, DVD uh, player up here alright uh, to put this back down by the way both sides have the same action they both tumble forward um, to put this back down it has to be done manually this is not power it only releases power okay and you bring this back down here alright the rear door panels are all charcoal black with the wood trimming here this vehicle is equipped with the uh, child lock protection how it works is the following you stick your key in here, twist it to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you get small kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside, once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers, just twist this here to the right, and this handle will start working again. Okay? Let's come around to the rear here. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Two parking sensors on the rear bumper, two on each side. These are the ones that beep when you approach another object. Behind this beauty cover here is a class three heavy duty tone package with the electrical connection there ready to go. Here's the rear camera that we we're looking at it before. 
rear wiper, rear window defroster. This vehicle is a flex fuel cable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per dollar, but it doesn't mean you have to, you can just put regular unleaded. As long as the car is unlocked, you can press here and the tailgate will open up. Uh, the rear bench, um, it's a 50-50 bench. You can lift up on this handle here. This will flip forward and uh, you can pull up on this handle here and prop up the, right up to the back of the middle row bucket. Also, you can pull this handle here, flop this down and just pull on this and the seat will come out. The seats are independent of each other. They don't, um, they don't, you, you can put one down and leave the other one up. So that in case you needed the seating capacity here and wanted to put something large on this side here, you can have one up and the other one not down, uh, the other one down. To close the tailgate, we do it right from here. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Let's come around to the rear here. We'll open up both these doors and we'll move to the front. Right rear door panel, perfect shape, no scuffs, no scratches. I'm sure by now you can tell the speaker covers are not cracked. It's got all the Denali emblems, are nice and clean. This uh, side is also powered, okay, and uh, right front door panel here, same way. Of course, we got a uh, cool seat and heated seats on the passenger side also. Dual power seat, power recline, and lumbar support. Let me pan over the seating area here so you can see it's in great shape. And your main glove box is over here. Let's talk about financing for just a minute. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have uh, excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing or you just want us to go ahead and get your pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, run the homepage, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get your pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.